Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the n cross n integer matrix that represents the buildings in the city. A positive value integer in the matrix will represent the road can be laid and a negative value in the matrix so before that a uh, zero value in the matrix represents the road cannot be laid so the integer in the matrix represent the cost of removing the buildings for the construction of road the program has print the minimum cost to construct the road in the city they have also given a note that from a road only one building must be removed so we have to accept the end cross integer matrix and the positive value in the matrix represent the road can be laid and the zero value will represent the road cannot be laid the integer in the matrix represent the cost of removing the building for the construction of road then the program has spent the minimum cost to construct the road in the city and a notice from a road only one building must be removed so this is our first test case here we have the 4 cross 4 integer matrix so now we will consider the first row we will take the number 2 so from 2 we can move in any way that is we can zigzag way also we can move so from 2 we can go to 3 or 4 or 5 so anything is possible now the same way will find that is for 1 it can move through this this 3 elements that is uh, this will not be there only these three elements so since here it is empty and the other two is zero and now from one we cannot move to zero so the building cannot be constructed so this one will also become zero and when we see about this three we can move to these three that is zero zero two so we'll consider two and three plus two it is five so since it cannot move through 0, it will be moved through 2. 
and it becomes 5. Then after this we will have for 4 that is 0, 2, 0 and now we will consider only 2 so it becomes 6. Then for 5 we have 2, 0 and a empty element so we will consider 2 and it becomes 7. So after this we will move to the second row and the same way in the third row. So here we will have 5 plus 5 that is 10 and here it is 0. So for 0 we will have 0, 5, 6. So the minimum is We'll leave for that. So in 7 we'll have 5, 6, 7. So the minimum is 5. So 7 plus 5 is 12. Then again we have 0. Then we have 8. So we can take 10. So it becomes 18. Then for 1 we have 10, 0, 12. 10 is the minimum. So 1 plus 10 it becomes 11. And for 2 we have 0, 12, 0. Only 12 we can take, so it becomes 14. Then for 3 we have 12, 0 and uh, empty element. So we can take 12 and becomes 15. And now in the last row, we can take this 11 as it is the minimum integer, which will be our output. Now we will take our second test case. First we will take our first row. For 4 we have 1, 2 and empty element. So the minimum is 1. So 4 plus 1, 5. Then for 3 we have 1, 2, 0. The minimum is 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Then for 1 we have 2, 0 and the empty element. So we will take 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Then for 5, we have 5, 4 and empty element. So we will take 4. Then for 2, we have 5, 4, 3. 3 is the minimum. So we will take 3. So 2 plus 3, 5. And for 1, we have 4, 3 and empty element. So 3 is minimum. So we will take 3. And now, in this third row, we have 4 as the minimum integer so it will be our output. get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our instagram page programming made simple here we have mentioned our insta id in this video description now let us implement our program first we'll get the integer n then we'll get the matrix Then we'll iterate over the row that is for row in range 1 comma n and for column in range 0 comma n. So if the matrix of row column is equal to equal to 0 means so if it is 0 then we are not going to consider it because the road cannot be laid when it becomes 0 so we will just continue and we have the empty list called building where if we have 5 means we have these 3 ways so if the column not equal to 0 and matrix row minus 1 column minus 1 is not equal to 0 means 
then we have to append the building with the matrix row minus 1 and column minus 1. So in the same way if the column not equal to n minus 1 and here it is column plus 1 then we have if we have to take the minimum so if the matrix of row minus 1 and column is not equal to 0 then the building will be appended with the matrix row minus 1 and column so if the building is the matrix row column plus equal to the minimum of building else the matrix row column equal to 0 and finally we'll print the minimum of the x for x in the matrix m minus 1 if the x is not equal to 0 now let us implement our sorry let us execute our program we'll take our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case we have got 4 as the output which is correct. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.